Mets host in the Reds, and the Reds are plus 174 on the money line. The Mets are minus 207. The over-under is eight runs. The Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mets getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 109, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And I'm not sure if most people who are Mets fans are probably going to be Jets fans. But for those who are Giants fans, we're in for a long season to starting tomorrow. It is supposed to be 69 degrees with 10 mile an hour winds and no rain. Agiar, uh, Aguirre did not pitch against the Mets last year. This year, Severino pitched once against the Reds this year. And it was not a really awful start for him, but the Mets lost. Five innings, two runs, one earn. They lost 9-6. That was in Cincinnati, and he struck out seven. Bullpen does it again. Head-to-head, -head, the Mets are on a three-game winning streak. The Mets are 6-4. and four. The home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite has won the last four games they've played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is 6-3-1, and one, and we have eight. We have one, two... Three. The under at eight is also six, three, and one. The Reds have not confirmed uh, their pitcher yet, and in his four appearances or his four starts, they won all four. Four innings pitched, two point three strikeouts, twelve point five outs recorded, four point eight hits, one point five walks, three earned runs, one point three home runs, sixty nine point eight pitches per game, seventeen point two pitches per inning. When we flip it over to the Mets with Severino in his last 10 starts, five and a third innings pitched, 5.9 strikeouts, 16.8 outs recorded, 5.6 hits, two walks, 2.4 earned runs, 2.5 runs total, 0.7 home runs, 92.1 pitches per game, 17.1 pitches per inning. The Reds are on a two-game losing streak. 17 runs, one run, 10 runs, four runs. 12 runs in a win, one run in a win, four runs in a loss, and then shut out in a loss today. For the Mets, they're on a nine-game winning streak. Red hot. Nine runs, 11 runs, 10 runs, four runs. Seven runs in a win, eight runs in a win, six runs in a win, four runs in a win. Now this is the catch-22. Are the Mets going to continue to dominate and win, or is it going to be someone who you don't expect to pull the upset on them? I will take, I'm going to take the Mets with the money line. I'm going to take the Mets laying the runs and I'll go under. I understand that, you know, eventually he's got to take his first L. So we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.